Hello and welcome to Jikoni Magic, where today we're going to learn how to make matoke in coconut milk Jikoni Magic style. First, we'll start by prepping our hands. Take a bit of vegetable oil or any oil of your choice and apply it on your hands. Now, why are we doing this? Well, this is because we need to form a protective barrier between the plantain juice and our hands. The plantain juice has the capacity to really stain your hands or clothing for that matter. Start by cutting off the two ends of your plantain and then proceed to make incisions right from the top, running all the way to the bottom. Do this three times or maybe four times, depending on how big or small your plantain is. Okay, then proceed to peel it. Run your finger from top to bottom gently gently along the peel okay and you'll see that the peel will come off now look at the way i'm doing it again eh? so you run your finger down like that you just go peeling it gently don't force it just do it very gently and you'll see that the plantain peel comes off do this for the remaining peel and then you will notice that some some peel will have been left stuck on the plantain you simply remove this by using your knife you can either peel it gently or you can scrape it and it will come off after you're done put this uh, plantain that you have finished peeling into your cold water that has lemon juice lime juice or vinegar this will slow down the rate at which your plantains turn black now let's proceed to our cooking first of all take two tablespoons of oil add to your pan let it heat up take your seeds this will be the cumin seed fennel seed and mustard seed let them crackle and pop be very careful don't let them burn and then come and add your onions cook your onions for about um, five minutes until they've softened and become translucent to this come and add your ginger and garlic that you have finely chopped and let it cook for about two minutes or so until the raw smell and taste of ginger um, gets finished then to this now we're going to add curry powder i've added two teaspoons of curry powder the people who like it less those who like it more two teaspoons were enough for me in this instance cook it off for about a minute or so and then come with your freshly chopped tomatoes and add mix everything in properly if you want you can also do a puree I didn't do a puree I just prefer to go with my chopped tomatoes after everything is mixed properly reduce the fire cover it and after about eight minutes or so you'll find that your tomatoes will have cooked down and reduced like you can see here this is your opportunity now to come and add your matoke now if I say matoke I mean plantain so you might find me using those two terms interchangeably just remember they mean the same thing matoke plantain okay so now um after you've added your matoke make sure that you mix everything properly and that all your matoke is covered by this um base that we were making then um come and add your green bell pepper that you've uh, chopped properly as in you you've chopped in small pieces don't put big big huge pieces uh, it can be nasty when someone bites into it so um next mix it up properly so that it's um, evenly distributed within your meal your dish that you're making next come and add um just enough water so that it just barely covers the top of your plantain for some meaty flavor i added a beef a bouillon cover let it simmer on low heat for about 10 minutes and it will become tender when you open it this is what you're going to see very tender nicely cooked so next come and add your gravy mix and your coconut milk the reason why i add this two um ingredients towards the end 
um, is because plantains naturally have a very high starch content. When you're cooking the plantains, what happens is the starch is released and your food ends up being quite thick. And on top of that, remember gravy mix thickens any kind of food you're cooking. Coconut milk also has the same effect. Three minutes, it should be done. Add some coriander and serve. Voila, here is your matoke cooked in coconut milk. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Show some love. Like this video. Till next time. Goodbye.